So over my many years of dropshipping and just building e-com stores in general, I've learned that to be successful as a complete beginner, you need to be aware of the dropshipping formula, which is very easy to understand. And I've broken it down right here. You need to first and foremost understand exactly how to find and exactly what is a winning product. You also need to make sure that you understand what goes into having a solid, reliable fulfillment strategy. And most importantly, you need to understand what goes into getting warm traffic to find your product in the first place. And I'm sure right now, most of you that are watching this video, if you are completely new to the world of dropshipping, you're not really sure of exactly what goes into each of these different elements. So what I'm gonna be doing is breaking it down in detail so that by the end of this video, if you stick around from start to finish, you're gonna have a full understanding of exactly what you need to do after you finish watching this video when it comes to setting up your dropshipping store and putting you on the path of being able to make your first $100 per day $500 per day, even $1,000 every single day. So as always, I don't wanna waste any more time and I wanna get right into it. If you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well, hit the bell notification. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so jumping straight into the first part of this dropshipping formula, which is understanding what a winning product is and how to find one. And when I say that you need to understand what a winning product is, most of you think that you might already know what it is when in reality, a lot of people have it wrong. And the reason why I say this is because when I first started building my e-commerce business, I felt like I understood what a winning product was. And because of that, I spent maybe six months, maybe a year selling the completely wrong product. And I ended up losing a lot of money and I ended up wasting a lot of time because there's certain characteristics that goes into the best type of product that you can sell, specifically when it comes to starting a dropshipping business and most of you that are watching this video need to understand all of the different characteristics so that you know exactly what to look out for and right here in front of me i've broken down four of the main characteristics that i always advise beginners people that are looking to get started with an e-com store to think about when looking for a winning product so starting off with the first one which is that you want to make sure that the product is small and lightweight by selling an item that is small and it's not too heavy you're going to be able to save money with so many different parts of the drop shipping process in terms of when the supplier sends it straight to the customer there's not going to be a high shipping cost involved with that secondly you're going to be able to save money if the customer decides that they want to return the item for whatever reason 80 percent of the time it's going to be your responsibility as the business owner to pay and cover the cost of shipping the product back to the supplier so because of that Ideally, you wanna make sure that the item isn't too heavy so that you're gonna be able to reduce all of your different shipping costs. And just generally speaking, when it comes to running any physical product business, you always wanna try and avoid heavy, bulky items because there's always gonna be random cost during the entire process from when the customer buys the product and when they receive it and just all of the different steps in between. But swiftly moving on to the second characteristic of a winning dropshipping product, which is that it should be easy to source. And by source, what I mean by this is that it should be easy to find when it comes to all of the different suppliers that are out there. The mistake that you wanna avoid is trying to sell a completely unique item that maybe only one or two suppliers currently have available because if you have any issues when it comes to the supplier that you're using, it's gonna be difficult for you to quickly go over to another supplier and continue running your business. And this is actually another mistake that I personally made at the very beginning when I first started one of my first ever e-com stores, which is that I sold a product that only one supplier had which meant that when it came to me running into issues with that particular supplier, I wasn't able to use a different one and it ended up affecting all of the sales that I could have made. So from that point, I learned from my mistake and whenever I sold a new product, I made sure that there was at least 10 suppliers for me to choose from. So whenever I ran into issues in the future, it was easy for me to have various different options so I didn't rely on just one manufacturer or one supplier. Moving on to the third characteristic of a winning dropshipping product, which is that it should currently be selling well right now. And it shouldn't only be selling well right now, but it should have been selling well for the past, let's say two years, three years, four years. If you're able to find an evergreen product that's selling well right now and it's been selling well, for the past few years, then that's gonna put you in a position to know that you're gonna be able to generate a decent amount of revenue from your business over the foreseeable future. Which now brings me on to one of the final characteristics of a winning dropshipping product that I'm gonna talk about in this video, which is that it should be highly searched for. 
And when I say highly searched for, you're going to do the right product research to make sure that hundreds of thousands of people are actively searching for that product on a daily basis. Because if you're able to see that people are going onto their laptops, their mobile phones, and searching for the keywords for that particular product, then all that's going to do is increase your chances to know that you can generate money if you started selling that product yourself. By understanding all of these different characteristics and implementing them into my own e-commerce business, I was able to go from zero to over a million dollars because I was able to identify the best winning products to start selling. But when it comes to the actual practical steps that you need to take when you're doing your product research, there's so many different softwares out there that you can use, but because I wanna show you how you can find a highly searched for product, one of the best softwares that I'd recommend that you use as a beginner is Helium 10. Helium 10 is mainly used when it comes to finding winning products on Amazon, but because Amazon is the most visited e-commerce website in the entire world, we're gonna be able to use the data on Amazon when it comes to identifying highly searched for products. So I've just logged into my Helium 10 account and what I'm gonna do first and foremost is just click on tools over here. Then what I'm gonna do is click on black box and depending on which country you're gonna be selling in the most, I would advise that you change the domain over here. So if you're gonna be selling on your Shopify store to customers within the US, then you might wanna leave it on amazon.com. But let's say for example, if I was looking to drop ship products to customers within the UK, I may wanna change the data to amazon.co.uk. Then what I'm gonna do is just come down here to shipping size and change it to small. And then I'm also going to select small parcel over here too. And in terms of the category, there's so many different categories that you can choose from. I would advise that you just select whichever categories you might wanna build your entire e-com business around. But let's say if I was looking to find products within pet supplies, I'm just gonna click on this one. And then I'm gonna come over here to sales and I'm gonna change the price to, let's say around 20, pounds or $20 minimum and change the monthly revenue for the product to around $10,000 and then click on search. Okay, perfect. So Helium 10 has now come back with all of these items that are currently doing well and it's able to break it down in terms of the monthly sales, the price, the monthly revenue, and a lot of other information that's not necessarily useful to us because we're not gonna be selling the product on Amazon. But one of the main columns that I look out for is the monthly revenue. And what I like to do is change it from highest to lowest. Okay, perfect. So we've now got a clearer view of all of these different products that people are spending money on right now. And we're also able to see how much money per month all of these individual listings are generating. So for example, this one at the top is bringing in over 800,000 pounds per month. This one's bringing in 390,000 pounds per month. And there's also these dog harnesses that are bringing in over 300,000 pounds per month for each of these individual listings. So from this point, of course, all I need to do is just scroll through and see if there's an item that stands out to me that I may want to start selling myself and build an entire Shopify store around it. And of course, if you also wanted to sign up to Helium 10 so that you can go away and do your own product research, I've got a discounted link in my description down below. But this actually now brings me on to the second part of the dropshipping formula, which is that you want to make sure that you've got a reliable fulfillment strategy. And by this, what I mean is that there's so many different ways that you can fulfill the orders that you're getting. You can either go onto a website like AliExpress, which is called retail dropshipping because you're going over to a retail website for you to find a vendor that's going to ship out all of your orders on your behalf. You've also got another option, which is by finding a dropshipping agent. Most commonly, you're gonna find one in China and they're gonna be responsible for finding and sourcing the products and shipping it out to all of your customers. And one of the final methods when it comes to having a solid fulfillment strategy is by buying the products in bulk from a supplier in China, shipping it into your country, and you're now going to send it to a fulfillment center, which is commonly known as 3PL, which is third party logistics and by doing this you can essentially speed up the delivery times because the product isn't going to be shipped from China to your customers but instead it's going to be shipped from your own country to your customer which is going to reduce the shipping time dramatically and you're going to be able to get the orders to your customers within one to two days. Now of course all of these different methods have their own pros and cons, their own advantages and disadvantages, various different cost associated to all of these different options but whatever the case is whichever one that you decide to go with you just need to make sure that you've got a reliable fulfillment strategy because this is a crucial part of the formula when it comes to you having dropshipping success and this now brings me on 
into the final part of this entire formula, which is that you need to have warm traffic. And a lot of you right now are probably scratching your head thinking, Sam, what exactly do you mean by warm traffic? Well, essentially what this means is that you wanna make sure that the customers that are going onto your website or the visitors that are going onto your website have some sort of intention to buy the products that you're selling. Because by building your store this way, it's going to increase your chances of being able to make a sale and it's going to improve your conversion rates. And one of the best ways of getting warm traffic onto your website is by using some sort of search-based marketing and the most popular one is Google Shopping. So Google is the most visited website in the entire world. Millions of people go onto it on a weekly basis. So if you're able to set up a really good shopping campaign and you're able to target the right search terms, you're gonna be able to get really high quality traffic going onto your website, people that have the intention to buy something because they actively search for it, which is gonna help you grow your e-commerce business to whatever level you're trying to get it to. And the reason why I know that this works is because I've done it myself. I was able to go from zero to over 10,000 pounds to over 100,000 pounds to over 200,000 pounds by understanding exactly how to set up the best Google shopping campaign possible. And I'm now in the process of building a completely brand new dropshipping store that I'm also gonna be using Google Shopping ads for as well. But whichever marketing methods that you decide to use when it comes to getting traffic onto your website, whichever one you think is best for your business, as long as you make sure that it's warm traffic, you've made sure that the person has some sort of intention to buy the product, they've got their credit card in their hand before they landed on your website, then this is going to increase your chances of being able to be successful with your dropshipping business. But of course, there's a lot more that goes into doing dropshipping. I just wanted to give you guys the basic information that I wish someone told me when I first started. But if you wanna watch another video that I made not too long ago where I break down everything you need to know from A to Z when it comes to starting a Shopify store as a complete beginner, then make sure you click the link right there. Check that out straight after this one because it's gonna help you out in so many ways and it's already helped out so many people. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.